parking ticket intro. Good morning Smeggies, I'm in the heart of Sheffield and I'm going to show you the smoothness of floors and walls like this. The floor, the post, a wall, a barred window. I am of course joking. <laughs> no, I'm on a, what I'm dubbing, a shopping spree mission. Yes, I intend to spend a lot of money today. Not just in town, but at Meadowall. And you know how they love me filming there. Oh look, some things to ride later. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the uh, seaside thing that they've got in town at the moment. Yeah, rather pretty. Can I go on that? Mm. So what have I been up to since I last saw you? Well, one, I'm filming in the heart of the city. And for some reason I'm a little bit nervous. I don't understand. I always film when I'm around and about. Doesn't matter. Anyway, as you can see I've still got the beard. And if you've been watching my main channel video, The Sound of Nuisance, which I really liked. You'll know that I've got the gerbils yet again. I haven't really been up to much of anything else because you know, I've been working yet again. <sighs> and I'm extremely tired from all that. I'm not going to go into too much details, but I had to go from one shift to another and it sort of disrupted my sleeping pattern. So I had a bit of insomnia over the week. <sighs> I'll be back to normal next week. I'm on mornings. Check this out. There's more. I feel like I'm at Cleethorpe or something. Oh, and despite how it looks, it's actually quite warm. My car thermostat said it's 19 degrees. <gasps> I like it. Well, I'm in here and I'm still astounded about how much Avatar is, even second hand. I'm still debating on whether to buy this or not though, because I do want it. It's not the best film in the world, but I do want it. It's better than that anyway, and that. <laughs> I can't be bothered with the extended version and the behind the scenes. I know how they did it, so I'll just get this one for that. A bit too much, but hey. I've bought a few items. <laughs> Next stop. Well, that was a bust. I'm actually on a mission to buy some like pants, trousers, if you like. You know, the cargo ones with the pockets. I've got enough jeans, I don't need no more jeans. I need cargo pants, as they call them, or cargo trousers. Combats, I don't really know the actual term. So now I'm going to try this place. These are what I mean. But they call them action trousers here. <laughs> Pretty sure though I don't like any of these colours or the material to be quite honest. Strike two. I don't mind if I do. I really can't say I'm surprised. It's raining. But at least I bought something from HMV. Just spent more money in the game shop. <laughs> I can guarantee that I will be spending money in here. Mission one complete. Whew, the sun's starting to come out and I'm incredibly warm. My jeans are stuck to me. I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail there. So that part of the shopping spree mission is done. It's now off to Meadow Hill. I mean Meadow Hall. And just one more thing. You know earlier on when I said that I am nervous and I can't understand why. It turns out I'm not nervous because I've been filming in front of people and don't care. I've got people watching me now and I don't care. It's because I'm hungry. That's what it is. I'm very, 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 very hungry. So I think once I get to Meadow Hall, <laughs> I'm gonna get some food and the sun's coming out which means it's gonna get even more warmer in this car so I'm gonna set off open my windows and cool down of course at this point you're thinking why don't you just do one of your little jump cuts I like driving so I want to drive okay is that all right with you yeah <laughs> this beard's getting too itchy I'm doing this a lot it's getting getting full I'm not shaving yet. Ah, the joy of joys. <laughs> yes, I'm hungry. I'm full. Shopping time. There are different colours. I like don't do that to me. I've just almost walked out of the shop after purchasing these and I'm like, something's not right. I realised you guys were not on my belt, not in my hand. You're still in changing rooms. So I've just had to run back to make sure that it's still there. Luckily you were. <sighs> Don't do that to me. I've been wandering around for hours. I need a pick me up. That'll wake me up. Yum, yum, yum. I'm spending a lot of money in here. I'm not showing you what just yet, in a bit. I've just spent a bit of money in uh, there. 
And there's this young lad, he's just started, he might be watching this video. Hello. I've never caught your name, sorry. Now I'm done, I'm tired. I need to go home. I need to upload this week's video. Oh, and I'm going to show you what I bought when I get home. I'm getting a lot of odd looks again. I love it. Mission 2 complete. Um, my key just broke. What the heck? I've now got to get a back door as well as a front door and a shed door. What is going on? I don't have another one of them, I don't think. Turns out I have a spare, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it is. All oh, right. What? Eh? Huh? What? So where's that piece gone? And why didn't it work? This one's working fine. Yeah. Weird. So that end piece has magically disappeared to some... Another portal, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I'm home. <laughs> got my video uploading. Oh yeah, and I've got a cup of tea. So what did I buy? So, as you know, I started off in that shop. I like to call it CEX, because it's, it's either sex or kex. I don't know which one's worse. Oh yeah, you know what? Hold that foot. I'm going to keep tabs of how much I've spent with the receipts by using my calculator on my little phone. Well, as you know, I wanted to buy that. Sometimes I buy films and I don't even know if I've got them or not, but I bought it anyway for £2. How good is that? Because I've already bought recently, actually these are all my new DVDs up here. I bought Dexter Series 3. So I've got, for just £10, Dexter Series 4. And I've definitely been wanting to buy them because they used to be on normal terrestrial TV and then, I don't know, I don't know, some, some digital channel on Sky bought the rights and I've not been able to see it since season two so I'm quite excited to see where the series has gone since then. I know in there. Yeah. Oh, oh what's this? Oh, it's all my bank details from my card. Can you see that? I went in there and again I've recently bought Chuck Series 3 so I got Chuck Series 4 <sighs> Game Shop Now let me tell you a little thing Recently I've been spotting not just on TV but also in shops a lot of Rocky the entire series you know Rocky 1 through to Rocky Balboa and I have seen a few of them when I was younger but I wasn't really that interested in them but just recently I keep seeing them everywhere and it's like I was a child when I saw them so I don't really know if I'd enjoy them as an adult and I kept seeing them at eight pound like in CEX and I was like no no I can't be bothered and then I spotted that in this shop now it says 6 99 on it which is seven pound but if you look there it says two for ten pound that's six films plus this, which I have yet to see, and I want it. That was also two for ten pound. Seven films for ten pound. Can't go wrong. And best thing is, if I re if I find out I don't actually like these, I can sell them. Probably for more than what I've paid. Of course, I bought my comic books as usual. Okay, so then I went to Meadowall and as you know I bought these trousers, you've seen them already. And finally, the big thing that I bought, well it's not big big, it's expensive big. As you know, when I went to VidCon I met quite a number of YouTubers, sorry I thought I saw a spider up there. And of course two of those YouTubers that I really really wanted to meet was Kate and Corey. Kate is 1-7 and SMP Films, Corey Williams. While I was talking to Kate, I started asking her about a camera that she uses and yeah, you know exactly where I'm going with this, don't you? This is the camera that she uses. This one. <laughs> the PowerShot SX230. I've also bought that. Hopefully, this time, fingers crossed, this is going to work out better than the last camera that I tried. Which was that Samsung rubbish one. Oh, what's all that? There's a disc with it. Connect to TV. That'll be for charger. Sorry, I was just getting confused. I'm like, why do I need that for camera? It's for the charger. USB connection, bit of cardboard. I'm pretty sure this is the charger. And I'm quite certain 
you remember the charger I bought for my holiday last year? The one where I can charge up my iPod, my phone, Joe's phone, Pete's phone, just about anything. I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to charge this. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's the string. Battery. And here it is. Whoa. Check that out. It is pretty heavy, actually. It's not as heavy as you guys. You're going to lose some weight, by the way. But at least it's easier to hold. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this quite a lot. Make sure my finger's not in the way of the lens. And the microphone's here, so I don't want to be... My first thing to think is to do that, which covers up the microphone so I've got to make sure I don't do that but yeah it's a lot easier to handle wow if you remember on the last video I was talking about I know I haven't been vlogging that much I'm going to do something about it that's it this is it the camera let's see if there's any power in it whatsoever batteries in there's no card in it just yet but let's just see if there's any power oh I'm going to have to be playing with this, but there you go, you've got the widescreen, and this is pretty much how you're going to be seeing me from now on. I'm not sure if there's any difference, but yeah, we're doing this a lot. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you excited? Wow, even that shuts itself. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm going to be playing with that over the next however long. One more thing to do. I'm not going to tell you how much the camera was but I will tell you how much I've spent today. That's how much I've spent today. It's safe to say my shopping spree mission was a success. Uh, just before I go there's actually something else. I was doing my holiday film and I don't know why but something started niggling in the back of my mind about the song that I used on the first chapter and so I don't know what led me to it but eventually I found on one of my other videos that I made last year well I did one where me and Tony and Philip and Trin had gone to Castleton I'd used the song on that as well and I have this sort of unwritten rule in in the back of my head that I don't use the same song twice but the thing is before I even went to LA this song was playing in my head and it was telling me this is the song you have to use and you know like I've always said I'm a slave to my imagination I had to use it and it fits so perfect it fits a lot better than on the Castleton video so I'm not changing it you know it's my rule I can break it anyway of course I've changed my voice that means only one thing it's time to finish this video so the next time you see me You'll have lost weight, so I can hold you up a bit more, and you'll have had laser surgery on your eyes, because you're in HD by then, possibly. I'm going to go. Until the next time, peace out.